This story was sent to me by Mike Gibbs, and it is coming out of New Jersey. Now, I couldn't unfortunately find the picture of the actual culprit, and trust me, I've been trying to find it, especially since their name has been put out there to the public. But for some reason, I just cannot get a hold of a picture of this person. But this person's name is Richard Tobin, and he's 18 years of age, and he went on a a planned attack to go and tried to attack and possibly kill as many black people as he could come across or any amount of black people that were in close vicinity with him. And as you can see in this picture, it is that of a machete. That was the weapon he planned to use. And he is 18 years of age. This is Richard Tobin is an 18 year old white man who was sitting in his car in the parking lot of Menlo Park Mall in Edison, New Jersey. He had a machete in his hand and planned to kill African Americans there there because so many were around him, which quote unquote enraged him. Just the presence of us quote unquote enraged this man for him to want to kill us. Not because someone wronged him or did something to something dirty close to him, but just because of our existence. And people try to tell you that racism no longer exists and see this is the type of person right here who they will try to say has a mental illness thankfully he did not do it and is now in custody the philadelphia inquirer reports tobin who lives in brooklawn new jersey is accused of the vandalism of two midwestern synagogues earlier this year so he has a history making him the latest target of a law enforcement crackdown against alleged white nationalists in south jersey Tobin also confessed to obsessively plotting more violent action and in one case got as far as sitting in the parking lot of the Menlo Park Mall in Middlesex County with a machete willing to let loose on black shoppers. FBI Special Agent Jason D. Novick said in court docs, Tobin said that he was triggered by the state of the country, such as when he saw a pride parade or a large number of African-Americans in one location. There were so many African-Americans around the mall that enraged him. If he's mad about this now, wait until 2045 rolls around or maybe even sooner. He really going to be pissed. Then he might actually jump off of that. The roof of that mall head first in which we would not, you know, be upset if he decided to do that. There has been a rise in white nationalism in New Jersey, and Tobin was reportedly part of the group called the White Protection League. NJ.com reports it is an invitation-only social media network known as The Base, which caught the attention of extremism watchdogs last year. The network was founded by a perpetrated veteran of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan with the goal of uniting white supremacists across the country and inspiring them to carry out violent attacks. Yet they say we are the violent element. White nationalism is on the rise, according to the Anti-Defamation League. Extremist-related murders spiked 35% from 2017 to 2018, making them responsible for more deaths in more than in any year since 1995. NBC News reports hate crimes in the country increased by 17% from 2016 to 2017, marking the third straight year of a spike in hate crimes, according to an FBI report released last November. More than half of the hate crimes reported in 2017 were motivated by racial or ethnic bias. White terrorism is clearly a threat to our country, and many people credit the rise in extremism to 45. Like I said, these individuals right here will go out and kill just because the day ends with the letter Y. His reasoning was because it was too, why he wanted to do this was is because it was too many black people around. And it made him uncomfortable. It triggered him. He got enraged and he wanted to do it. Luckily, they caught him before he could actually do it. Because I believe he actually would have. Don't put anything past these individuals. But my thing is if they would have just got him earlier this year for the vandalism, then this would not have gotten to this point. But like I said, good thing he wasn't able to carry out his plan. Because it would have been extremely messy in more ways than one. 
had he been able to accomplish that. And this is also a testament that there is a lot of racism that goes on in the North. Everyone thinks that racism goes on just mainly in the South. It's everywhere, but it's definitely prevalent in the North. It's just that the media and, you know, through movies and stuff like that, when they had to project Jim Crow, they always talked about the South because that was where it was very potent at, especially because those were a lot of slave territories and a lot of slaves left the South to come to the North, especially to Canada, to become free quote unquote so they didn't really keep their eyes on the north like that but trust me it's there it's there it's more covert rather than overt though but it's definitely hiding definitely it's like finding a needle in a haystack in some cases but nowadays you really can't it's not even like that but it's definitely everywhere especially in the north especially now that 45 is president Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.